Hello and welcome to our roundup of the European Parliament's latest plenary session here in Strasbourg. Among the main issues this week, a new debate on the migration crisis facing the EU following an EU-Turkey summit, a debate on women's rights and the postponement of a vote on a crucial new piece of EU passenger name record legislation to combat terrorism. So let's begin with the debate on the migration crisis, which looks like unfinished business. EU and Turkish leaders met in Brussels on Monday and agreed on a number of principles. These included speeding up the disbursement of 3 billion euro for the refugee facility for Syrians and deciding on additional funding, returning all new irregular migrants crossing from Turkey to the Greek islands with a cost covered by the EU, and resettling for every Syrian readmitted by Turkey from the Greek islands, another Syrian from Turkey to EU countries. Now EU officials will work on the details for EU leaders to discuss them at a summit next week. In the plenary debate, EPP Group Chairman Manfred Weber said, And that the first time a concrete and effective solution is in sight, that we talk together, that Europe with the Turkey gemeinsam on the way is, a gemeinsame solution to find, because only die eine nachhaltige Lösung darstellt. Den Schmugglern das Handwerk legen, das Durchwinken zu beenden, die illegale Migration aus der Türkei nach Griechenland zu unterbinden, all das sind richtige Antworten. Und ich möchte ausdrücklich auch mit einbinden, dass es wichtig ist, dass wir jetzt Griechenland unter die Arme greifen. Die Bilder, die die letzten Tage von Idomeni gekommen sind, dürfen wir nicht weiter akzeptieren. Wir müssen vor Ort versuchen, den Menschen zu helfen. Speaking on behalf of the current Dutch presidency of the EU, Janine hennis plaskart said that if Turkey takes back 100% of migrants arriving on Greek shores, as promised, there is a real chance to break the business model of the smugglers and end the human tragedy in the Aegean Sea. And speaking on behalf of Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker, EU Commissioner Valdis Dombrovskis said, both sides agreed a number of steps that will significantly limit the flow of irregular migrants to the EU. An agreement in principle was found with Prime Minister Davutoglu that Turkey will readmit quickly all irregular migrants who do not qualify for international protection and who arrive in Greece. It was also agreed that Turkey will readmit Syrian nationals returned from the Greek islands under the logic that they can apply for asylum in Turkey and under understanding that for every Syrian readmitted, one will be resettled to the uh, EU directly from Turkey. As President Juncker has said, this is a game changer. The new plan will help us to break the business model of smugglers who exploit human misery. There will be no longer uh, an incentive for Syrians to pay criminals to smuggle them across Aegean. Ms. Hennis Plaskart said that if an agreement with Turkey could be finalized along the lines of the discussions during the EU-Turkey summit, then this would mark a possible breakthrough. We will know more after the EU summit next week. The European Parliament marked International Women's Day on the 8th of March with a series of debates. Constance Le Grip, EPP coordinator on the Committee on Women's Rights, highlighted two main issues. The biggest issue for all women across the world will be access to education for all girls and all women. This is really, for me, for the EPP group, the major issue. And I would adjure all the European countries to sign and ratify the Istanbul Convention, the European Conventions for the Fight Against Violence Against Women. Finally, in an unexpected move, some political forces, namely the left and the liberals, have refused to vote on an important EU passenger name record piece of law during this plenary session. EU personal name record legislation has been delayed for more than a year despite MEPs committing to work towards reaching an agreement before the end of last year. It was after the terrorist attacks in Paris last November that EU socialist leaders urged the MEPs to go ahead with the legislation. Under PNR legislation, for flights between the EU and non-EU countries, airlines will be obliged to collect data about passengers. The airlines will then have to pass this data onto national authorities so that they can recognize potential terrorist threats and threats of other serious crimes. Axel Voss, the EPP Group spokesperson on the European Parliament's Committee on Civil Liberties, 
commented on the postponement of the vote. We obliged ourselves two times last year that we will end EU PNR at the end of last year. And so um, for credibility reasons, I would say as soon as possible we should vote on it. And uh, therefore it's uh, necessary, it, it would have been necessary to vote um, this uh, plenary session on PNR. And uh, also if we are looking to the attacks in Paris, we obliged ourselves also to do something. And this could uh, be our contribution to secure our citizens better. The vote on the EU PNR legislation may take place in April or May, but only time will tell if this actually happens then. So that's it from the Strasbourg session. And find out more about the European Parliament's largest political force by checking out eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you in Brussels next week.